In Northern Ontario, firefighters are battling more than 120 active fires. A fifth of them are considered out of control, including the largest, known as Perry Sound 33. It now spans about 113 square kilometres. More than 460 fires are also burning in British Columbia. All that smoke is taking a toll on air quality. You really feel it too after a while. Once on, for a long ride, you start to feel it in your chest. And... Fast moving flames led to a state of emergency in the Nanaimo Lakes area on Vancouver Island. Residents on the fire's western flank have been ordered to leave. Environment Canada predicts the hot, dry weather plaguing BC won't ease up until Friday or Saturday. There were 100 heat warnings in effect across the country still today. And while 2016 is still considered the warmest summer on record, Dave Phillips with Environment Canada says this one could be one for the books. If you look at it globally in the northern hemisphere, there's something about this summer that, that seems rather unusual. It's almost like a global heat wave that we are seeing across the, the world. We're seeing uh, temperatures being broken in places that you just don't expect it. In Japan, in both Koreas, uh, we're seeing it north of the Arctic Circle. Death Valley, California had the warmest temperature of any place on this planet in recorded history in July, with four days that where the temperature was above uh, 53. Philip says a couple decades from now, heat waves like the one we're seeing now won't even be considered extreme. They'll just be described as typical summer weather.